period, we went over uh, two things. We talked about variance, which is uh, lowercase sigma squared. And that equals the summation of our values minus the mean squared divided by the number of terms n. That is the variance. Right? Now, they already said 66.1 was the mean. Um, can anybody also just, I just want to make sure, let's just, uh, let's just double check that. Make sure that that is plus 64, plus 64, plus 68, plus 68, plus 69, plus 72, plus 66. Divided by how many terms do we have? 10? 66.1. Okay. So the mean right? And they actually gave it to the other problem, but I wanted to check it out. Uh, the number of values, n, is equal to 10. And then what we need to do is take each of these values, subtract it from the mean, and then square it, and then add those all up together. So I've seen a lot of students that they're, when they're doing these problems were not creating tables. If you guys remember when I introduced this, I said create a table. That's the easiest thing to do. I know it's a little bit of work. But if you want to be organized and make sure that you get the answer correct, that's what I'd recommend that you go ahead and do. So um, what we do is just create, we have a table for x, sorry, and then the mean. Then we have x minus the mean. Then we have x minus the mean squared. So let's do that for all of the values, 62, 63, 65, no, I'm sorry, or, yeah, 65 doesn't matter if they're in order, 64, 64, 68, 68, 69, 72, and 66. Richard, are you back in your seat where you're supposed to be? I can't remember. Was that the seat that we moved to, or I don't remember? So again, the table, guys, is not necessary. But if you're having trouble remembering to do this, um, you will be given the formula. But it does take a little bit of you know, work. We know that the mean is 66.1. And if anybody can start finding some of these values, that would be greatly appreciated, especially like the lower values. I'll do the first row. But if somebody can maybe start working from the bottom up, I'll start asking questions. So therefore, the first one, I'm just going to do 66 or 62 minus 66.1. I get negative 4.1. And then I just square that value, and I get 16.81. Does everybody understand how I completed the first row? OK. Second row, now I just do 63 minus 66. So therefore, that's going to be negative 3.1. And I square that, and I get negative 9. I'm sorry, positive. 9.61. Um, then I do, oops, C3, and then 5. Um, so that's going to be negative 1.1. And then negative 2.1 for the next one, is that? Yeah. Um, so 1.21. This is negative 2.1 negative 2.1, and that squared, 4.41. What is this, 1.9? And that one, this one's going to be 2.9. And that one's going to be 5, 5.9. OK, so let's just do these squared. 3.61. Oops, wrong one.
OK. Does everybody see basically what we did, how we did that? So I know for a couple of these problems, I mean, you guys had like six of them. I mean, you have to, it takes a little bit of work, but I'd, my recommendation when I'm coming around checking your homework is looking to see that I can see the work. It's not something you can just write in the answer and I'll say, oh, OK, yeah, you just did all the standard deviation. I mean, it takes some work for you guys to do. Well, now the formula says we need to find the summation of all of these values. So we need to find the summation of all of them. That means we need to add all of these values. So going back to my calculator, 16.81 plus 9.61 plus 1.21 plus 4.41 plus 4.41 plus 3.61 plus 3.61 plus 8.41 plus 34.81 plus 0 0.01. And as long as I type them into my calculator correctly, which I'm just going to double check. So just take it slowly, just to make sure you guys do this correctly, because you can miss the decimal point. I get, so my variance is equal to the summation, which ends up being 86.9. And therefore, then I need to just divide that by 10. Does anybody second my value? Yep. So therefore. My variance equals 8.69. Now what's nice as far as the standard deviation, if you guys remember, the formula for standard deviation, standard deviation equals the square root of the summation of x minus x mean squared over n. So basically all I'm doing is taking the square root on both sides. So therefore, here's the variance. If they're asking me to find the standard deviation, all I need to do is take the square root of that value. And I get 9.33 or 9.32. Yeah, it's going to be decimal. So just you can, yes, Colin. Anybody have any questions on that? Yes. I typed in the wrong number. Thank you. <laughs> 8.69. Square root, sorry about that. I was looking at the, I took the square root of 86.9. Um, 8.69, square root of that is 2.95. Nathan, do you have any questions? Does that make sense? <laughs> 